What's the big secret of comedy movies? You ever watch a comedy movie and you don't really understand why it's funny and it's just funny? Now, number one, you're going to need a star for performer and you have different star performers. Um, some people aren't as well practiced and, and that just goes to show how, how much quality you can get in an actor because a lot of people want to be actors, but they might not put in as much work as other people. And you got some guys, you know, the reason why they become so big is because they've just been doing it so long and they, they combine that with natural talent and you end up just being, you know, so good at what you do, um, to provide that experience. But what's really going on in that movie? So if you think about how when you watch a movie the the character can relate to you and there's a lot of examples i can give you but sometimes it has to do with women overcoming life or these different things but see the thing about comedy is it almost makes fun of a lot of that stuff and mocks it in which is the reason why you can't have such a dramatic like you can't it's hard to make a comedy movie that ends well and ends with a lot of meaning um, a lot of the time, it seems like. Um, and you still can do that and do it completely well. But whenever you put jokes in, it can kind of conflict with the, the ending message that you have at the end of the movie. Because sometimes a comedy movie, you know, it takes away from it takes away from the story when you make jokes like like whenever um you know like you make jokes on anything it kind of takes away from the story you know and um the thing about it i think is when you start getting more you, if you ever do get to snowball it creates a lot of drama if you start getting fans and that can add to the the appeal of your jokes and stuff because it's it's dramatic to 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 have fans if you know what i'm saying so if you're able to use that and that's why when someone starts to go, they start to they start to go because it gets more and more dramatic. It pisses people off. It gets them jealous. It you know it it really it starts to get in your head. The more famous a person gets, the more they're gonna like get in people's heads and shit. And there you know I've pretty much found out there's no you know I just have to accept my place and you know I don't want to be jealous and you know and there is a lot of trash talk and different stuff that that goes in, in with that and you know dissing other people and saying stuff in the right. You know right time and place because sometimes you just like i've said things on twitter a lot and i make myself look like a complete asshole and and but here's the thing is i feel like and it's all good really you know i'm just joking or whatever like who cares i'm just some guy but you know it's like when i think about that it's almost like me trying to pursue this ego this character in this movie to give myself a good ending you know what i'm saying because i'm trying to feel good in the movie and be the hero of my story to win in the dream and that's what everyone's trying to do the hero of the dream is essentially and so when you take a look back and you back up from that and you're trying to like pick it apart a little bit it's like oh shit this isn't even technically real this is just me trying to feel good essentially feel validated feel like i'm a man you know feel like i am empowered from the things so whenever you look at a movie and you have things that relate that rel you relate to in the movie you know relationships struggles you know uh poverty you know you being in the place that you're being in you know sometimes it's it's the uh, having these friends because a lot of people they have friends that they love and and you guys are kind of in it together and and maybe you're you're kind of considered burnouts or losers by other people but you're still like man you can't think about yourself you guys you know we are the people that make up this country and um you know some people that are considered you know losers and shit are actually like decent people you know i've known a lot of people that you know they weren't they weren't re you know they didn't have the best hand dealt to them in life but they're still really fucking good people man and you can't really just do that to people like you know what i'm saying but really that sort of thing really the message in a lot of different movies is basically giving you something to be like hey this resolve it, it it doesn't just resolve itself in the movie it resolves itself in your mind when you be when you're able to relate to a character character connect to it and whenever they make jokes and stuff and they do funny stuff it kind of takes you and puts you in there and then and then it it relieves stress and makes you laugh 
by by making things in your life seem funny when they when they didn't seem funny before and that's what funny is so what's going on in a movie is essentially that so so really a lot of time you know if you if you make the right movie for the right people then it could work out like sometimes you know you have a lot of teenage movies and it's just gonna appeal to a lot of teenage people like so, a lot of teenage movies i walk watch when I, I can't watch when i'm when i'm adult because it's just like i can't really relate to teenage movies anymore but some movies retain their their value if they're if they're a story about a grown man you know but sometimes you know depending i don't know man it's weird because sometimes you go through different like i like different things at different stages in my life and sometimes it's like the story doesn't fit well with me and that's such a hard thing to really like make everybody happy and bring everyone on board and when you bring the character and story dynamics and you put that and you and you really look at the star power of a person that's going to be probably the most influential thing of the entire thing to try to make something you know that's truly timeless it's pretty rare you know to make something that really truly survives and stuff like that that that's you know something that not a lot of people can really fucking not a lot of people can do that so you know depending on who you are you might think of it differently and um so it's just an interesting thing to think about is like the message in the movie a lot of the time tries to tell you something about yourself but you might not realize it you know it might tell you something about your weight it might tell you something about your relationship it might tell you something about your family it might tell you something there's a lot of different messages and people don't listen to them all the time um but you know jokes are um it's just you know it's it's really it's 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 mind-boggling to, to really process all of it you know it, it's you know what's happening in a comedy movie is just you know it, it's crazy but that's all movies really it's just like you know wow <laughs>